So what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing our first FIFA 21 review on Mohamed Salah. We're going to be going through the card, how I think he plays. We're going to show you some clips of it. And I'm going to let you guys know whether I think he's worth buying or not. And if in general he's a good player. So without further ado, let's get straight into the clips. So guys, before we get into the Salah review, we're just going to have a look at his player card. See how he looks as a general player, his price, his weak foot skills things like that i'm not much of a skiller myself but i know it's important to some people my clips will mostly be showcasing his gameplay and how he plays um not me individually with him but currently his price is sitting at around 383 uh it's expensive for a right winger personally i've always been in the opinion you never build your team around a winger but when you have someone like salah or that caliber player like maybe ronaldo or a messi you can maybe start to build it a little more around that type of player anyway his skills, four star skills, three star weak foot, left footed of course, fairly small at five foot nine. So he'll be quite slight as well in his build. He'll be able to move a little bit quicker maybe than the bigger players. All right guys, so now we're gonna get a bit more into his stats. His acceleration, sprint speed, and generally his pace is fantastic. He gets in behind the defenders quickly without the ball. He can stay in front of the defenders with the ball. Or if you're running at someone, he can really put them under pressure just with his quick, quick changes and just absolute raw sprint speed. He's one of the quickest players I've used this year on FIFA. And leading on to that, his dribbling. Dribbling is tight, really, really good. Able to get in and out of those spaces really easily. And you'll see a lot of the clips later on where Salah has scored. It's often come off the back of some really tight dribbling he's done earlier. So it'll be interesting to have a look at that later when I talk you guys through that. In terms of his shooting, positioning is excellent. He does. He makes really good runs. When you need him to go out wide, he does go out wide. You need him to come in the middle and support the striker and the cam or the two strikers. Depending on what formation you play, he'll be there. But his finishing, I have to disagree with it. It's, it doesn't feel as good as it should. Uh, Salah's got decent finishing. It's just not as good as I expected it to be. Shot power, I think, is fair. He doesn't produce the most powerful of shots. It should be more about positioning the ball with Salah. And his, just his raw ability to be able to just finish easy chances. Long shots, again, I took a couple. Didn't really have great success with them, so kind of stuck to trying to put it in, in the box. I did get one or two finesse goals from outside the box. I don't think I had them recorded, but I've got some of the clips showing you some of his shooting anyway. Penalties, a little bit dodgy, but usable. And volleys, I didn't actually try one to be fair. Only in squad battles where I was trying to do some challenges. But again, I don't really count those as squad battles. It's a bronze keeper and you could score with pretty much anyone. Passing, a bit of a letdown because it says 81 passing on his card. So vision, okay, that's fine. Crossing, crossing is really badly affected. So Salah's left footed, of course, and he plays on the right wing. Which means that when he's crossing, generally, it will be on his right foot. And a three-star weak foot, although it says three-star weak foot, it doesn't feel like three-star weak foot. It feels a lot weaker. And the same is true when he shoots as well. His free kick accuracy, not usable. I didn't really put him on many set pieces. Short passing is reasonable. It, it's workable. Long passing, I tried to play a couple of cross-field passes. It just did not work with him. Keep the play short. Keep it simple. Get him in behind is, is how you should play with this card and finally the curve stat and this is a big one for me a lot of the times when salah was missing was down to his finesse shots and curve not taking the ball into the corner like i would expect it to and i don't know if that's because this curve stat is particularly low i haven't really figured out what the curve stat needs to be in order to for a player to be able to do that on a regular basis but i would have thought salah would have that capability to slot one in the far corner he unfortunately doesn't. You'll see that in some of the misses I've included in the gameplay as well. In terms of physicality, jumping, I didn't win a single header with him. He's very quick. So that's what you have to use to your advantage. Stamina, decent, it's usable. And a little bit of strength. For a 5'9 player, very slight player, 75 strength is decent. If you come up against a smaller fullback, you, you'll be able to tussle a little bit, but no aggression whatsoever. So the only way you can really defend with Salah is if you manually take him and run back after someone. Yeah, he's quick enough and slight enough that he can get away from them and then drive away with the ball as well. Defending, he's not one of those wingers that you can get to defend um, with the rest of your team. He won't be able to help your right back as much as you want him to. He's more of one of them playing on the shoulder of the fullback, playing in behind on the centre back and cutting in on him. That's the kind of player that Salah is in this game, I feel. And I didn't really try to amend that to make him come back. I didn't want him to defend. I wanted Salah to be up the pitch attacking the other, other guy's defenders. So in terms of chemistry style, of course, you could look at something standard like a Hunter, which would dramatically boost his pace in shooting. There's also a Hawk. Hawk would be great for him. It gives him a little bit of physicality, a bit more strength. But to be honest, Salah's a slight player, like I've said before, and I don't want him to be playing a way that I 
wouldn't see him playing normally. You could boost a finisher to get his dribbling up and get his shooting up, but his dribbling's already fantastic. So I went with a dead eye. I wanted his passing to be crisp. I wanted that curve to get a slight boost, and I wanted his shooting to be pinpoint so that when I took a shot with Salah in a reasonable position, I knew it was going to be a goal, or so I thought it was going to be a goal. And you guys will see later, to my surprise, that it wasn't always a goal. So we're going to have a look at that in a bit. Okay, guys, so as we see some of the clips, he's got the ball here on the defense, turns the man, runs through the gap there, looking for Suarez in the middle there, finds a nice little neat ball, tight dribbling, should have been a goal, unlucky there. Again, turns the defender, nice and easy turn, looking for the man, didn't have a ball on, reaction header back to Benzema and scores. The last play, again, the same situation with his passing and dribbling, it's so tight, you're not worried about going out with the byline. Nice ball down the line from Alexander-Arnold, you're waiting for that move, waiting, waiting, and the last minute you pull it back, Suarez again, that's a goal. So guys, up next I'm going to cover some of Salah's misses, and before I get into the good part with the shooting, I wanted to cover some of the misses that he had. Again, the build-up play is really good, the play is just how he plays, is really slick and smooth, but then this kept happening, where he finessed it wide, and that's a real problem for me with Salah's cards, he did that two or three times. Again, picking up the ball here in midfield, Salah gets it out wide, and in this situation, I'm expecting him, it's 86 shooting, I'm expecting a far corner finesse shot there, I'm not expecting him to miss, I'm expecting that to be a goal, and you can see my disappointment in some of these clips when some of these shots aren't coming off. Again, he gets the defender on the turn, for me, that should be a goal in the top corner, he shouldn't be missing that. And the final clip again here, down the line again to Trent alexander arnold we've seen that play before, cuts inside, now on his strong left foot here, I'd expect him to bury that, I wouldn't expect him to miss that chance. Okay guys, so we're going to get into some of Salah's goal scoring ability here. Two things I love about this play right here. It's a tight control. He gets the ball inside. I'm not forcing that run. So he's making that move by himself to get into a good position, get it onto his left foot. And once you get it there, most of the time it will be a goal. It's just on the odd occasion it will surprise you. The second play here, a ball down the line from Trent Alexander-Arnold. A ball inside there, round the corner. He makes the run down the gap and he's so quick that the defender's not catching him. Lovely little chip over the keeper. He's got the finesse, he's got the touch, he's got everything required to be a really good winger on this game. On the next couple of clips, I just showed you a couple of his penalties. I'm not particularly good at them, but they're usable. That was a bit of a dodgy one there. But the second one you'll see where I, I yellow time it, it still goes in the, almost the exact spot where I put it. Very tidy penalty taker. This next clip here, just driving around the defense. He's too quick for them to counter and slots that in the far side. Really tidy finish on that left foot. As you can see, most of the finishes are on his left foot. I don't really use his right foot that much. Ball here through from Henderson. He's in on the center back again. And once you're in this position, it's danger. That unfortunately wasn't a goal, but you can see his finesse shots, the, pos the placement he has on some of these shots with his left foot. Not too much power, it's more about placement. Again, driving past the defender again, double doing the defender here, stopping on a dime on that defender there and just slotting it in the near post. And that move there, stopping on a dime like that is what separates him. The next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was Salah's weak foot. Just looking at it here, sometimes his weak foot doesn't behave as if it was a three star. Um, I didn't get many good shots off with him. You'll see in the final clip of these three that sometimes I might be due to defender pressure or something like that, but for a three-star weak foot and for the capability that he has in all the stats, I would be expecting more from Salah, especially in this clip. You can see here the defender does put him under pressure, but it's a slash wide and that's a problem for me. So guys, just reviewing the final take on Salah, we've got his games, goals and assists. Obviously in the future, I won't be doing as many games, so there may not be as many goals or assists, but this was my first one and it's a player that I've been using for a while since I got him in an untradeable pack. On the right of the games, goals and assists is the ratings, I think, relative to what his card says. So for example, his pace says 93, I think that's fairly accurate, so I gave it a 9, whereas the shooting, an 86, I didn't feel like that was a fair representation, so I gave that a 4. On the right of that, we've got the chem style that I used. The VFM rating is value for money and the enjoyment rating, how much, of course, you enjoy using him. I would not recommend buying Salah purely because I think he's really expensive for what you're getting. I think you can get much cheaper options like Juki Lozano or Lucas Mora. Pros and cons, as we discussed before in the video, are up there for you guys. You can see his price. Of course, he is a BPL right mid and probably the best one there. I think he is the best one there. Um, but I think there's other options out there that you could build your team around with that kind of money to give yourself a better result. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please do leave a like, subscribe, comment. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on Salah and let me know anything else that I might have missed. I'll try and add it to the next video. The next video coming up will be Rule Breakers Hakan Shahanolu. 
So until then, I will see you guys and take it easy.